Looking for plans in Barcelona this September? Stick around. In this video, I'm going to cover five things to do in Barcelona this September 2020 for both tourists and locals alike. September in Barcelona is the end of summer. It is kind of the finalization of this amazing time that everybody's just had. Usually we have tourists all over the place. This year, the last couple months, it's been emptier than it's ever really been. And I think right now is the perfect time for anybody that is in the city to really take advantage and do those things that we always push off. Do those things that maybe we uh, have never done before just because usually the city is so packed and so busy. There's no ranking, just a chronological order of dates of the activities that you can still do here in Barcelona this September 2020. Now, this first one is taking place from the 9th to the 13th of September and it's Catalan Book Week. I know a lot of tourists are probably not going to be coming in speaking Catalan, but it's a chance to check out all the new publications and books in Catalan. Usually it's in front of the cathedral, which draws a lot of attention just because of the movement of all the tourists. I get a lot of questions about it. This year they're moving it over to Moy de la Fusta, which is over by the old port. It's gonna offer a lot more space, a lot more kind of decongestion and allowing for that social distancing. More than anything, it's gonna have different activities and even different itineraries. So if you have read any of those books and you wanna join one of the guided tours, what you'll find are different routes around visiting spots from those books that you can sign up for online. I'll leave all this information in the link below in the description if anybody wants to check it out. Number two is the Diada de Catalunya, which is the National Day of Catalunya, celebrated every September 11th. And this is a commemoration for the end of the Battle of Spanish Succession, where realistically Spain becomes the country that we know it more today. And there's no separation between Castile and Aragon. Now, this is always looked at as a time when a lot of different things changed. And so this day has become a movement towards independence. It's something that I discuss a lot more on my Gothic Quarter and Born Old City tours in Barcelona because of that growth and the importance and independence in the recent years. Now, what happens on a normal year is everybody goes to the Fossa de las Moreras, the cemetery of the mulberry tree in the Born during the morning, a lot of Catalan flags and a lot of just celebrations going on for Catalan culture. And then later in the afternoon at 1714, they have a big mobilization. In the past, there's been a human chain created to be very similar to that idea of the, the Baltic chain that was created. And in 2014, marking the 300th year anniversary from the Battle of Spanish Succession, what you had was a Catalan flag, a senyera made in the streets where over a million people went wearing either a red or a yellow shirt and you made those four bar pattern. Now every year since then, the numbers have really gone down and this year is going to be the lowest in recent memory with only about 48,000 people allowed to meet up and you need a prior reservation. Now the big difference this year is the emphasis placed on the virtual presence. There's going to be a lot more connections that you can make using a QR code online to connect between people and places and everybody that's at home not participating in the streets is asked to go out at 1714 at 5.14 in the afternoon to coincide with that year of the Battle of Spanish Succession and be out on their balconies. If you are interested in any more information about it, I'll keep a link in the description below as well. The third thing you might wanna check out is Barcelona Gallery Week. Now this is something that's a little bit newer uh, and I actually just found out about it, but there are art galleries all over the city and a lot of times when people are coming in, I get some questions about different art galleries. This is the perfect chance to check some of those out. It's gonna be taking place from the 17th and the 20th of September. So during those four days, you've got options to take guided visits through a lot of those different galleries and learn about the different artists, learn about the different pieces that they have on display. So I think it's something that is a little bit different, maybe something we don't always hear about, but if you're here between the 17th and 20th of September, it might be something you're interested in checking out. Number four is open doors at the Sagrada Familia. And this is something that I really recommend. If you can ever get into the Sagrada Familia for free, it's always worth it. Open Doors is something that happens every year in September around the La Merce festivals that allows for 12,000 people to get in over the span of three days and not only see the Sagrada Familia, 
but get an idea of what's going on with the construction process and where it's going. This year, it's all about the Mary Tower. The Mary Tower is gonna to be the second tallest tower in the entire church. Last year, I was fortunate enough to be able to get in and get an explanation of the Evangelist Towers for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This year, it's all about Mary and how that's gonna to be topped off with the Morning Star and what's going into that construction. Now, how you get involved and how you can get your own free tickets is by going online starting on Monday, so you know where I'll be. Monday the 7th to the 14th, you have the opportunity to sign up. Leave an email and you'll know on the 14th when they do the raffle if you got the tickets or not. Pick your day, it's in the afternoon, the 18th to the 20th, and good luck. Now the last, but definitely not the least, is the La Merced festivals. If you're lucky enough to have your trip coincide with this weekend, uh, or if you just live here, you're definitely taking advantage of this celebration. This year, it takes place from the 23rd to the 27th of September, the actual day of celebration being the 24th. And the celebration is all about La Merced, one of the patron saints of Barcelona. La Merced actually saved the city from a swarm of locusts, and that's where she gets this idea of the patronage of the city. And you can see that in the poster for this year's celebrations, where we have not only the mask covering the face of the girl in the, in the poster, but we have that locust on the finger right there as well. A little bit of a nod to La Merced. Obviously this year it's gonna be very, very different and with the security measures, things are gonna be changed quite a bit. So we have more spaces than ever before. We have more spreading out throughout the city to try to keep those numbers and the agglomerations down as well. Now the program itself is still not 100% set up, but as soon as that comes out, I'll have a post on my website, as I do every year, about the different activities that you can go and you can check out. This year there's gonna be some virtual activities and many of the typical big, big parts of the festival that everybody always loves to see aren't gonna be taking place. This year we won't have the typical Diada de Castellers, the day for the people of the human towers that just stack themselves on top and on top of each other, basically as high as you can go. What happens every year in the Plaza San Jaume is we have all sorts of people around to come see that. And this year we're not gonna be able to do that. The other thing we won't have is the Corre Foc, which is the big fire run. Now this is one of those things that's just absolutely crazy and something that in the States would never be allowed to have, but you have people dressed as demons running down the Via Laetana, the big street in the center of Barcelona, and they've got fireworks basically on these sticks just shooting off embers. Just and they run around and there's all these people around. Usually you can put on a, a hoodie, you can put something on to cover your arms and everything and you dance under these embers. The other big thing that's gonna be missing are all the gatherings in San Jaume every night to see the covering of the facade of the city hall with some sort of projection video. The last thing that's gonna be really different is that this year there's no invited city to be celebrated. Every single year, a city from around the world is invited to come in and really be the celebrated city for the festivals. This year it's gonna be Barcelona. With everything that's going on, it's kind of a return to just seeing Barcelona and promoting that as well. You've got local artists, so if you're looking to see some new groups or really just kind of get onto that music scene and check out some people from around here, it should be a really cool opportunity for you to check out some local artists. Hopefully that gave you a good list of some things you can do while you're here in September, maybe take advantage of some of those activities. Remember to keep those safety recommendations in mind, and if you like this video, hit subscribe so that you can find out each month what you can do while you're here in Barcelona.